Okay. Got some more coffee. I'm ready to continue playing this video game. Uh, I made us a new stress squad here before I started recording again. So we're going to try to use them and get them leveled up here. Each time I use a spell, a random enemy is dealt 15 stress damage. That one's pretty good. Shoddy armor. All minions that are level 5 or lower gain plus 25 vigor or health. And that one's pretty good for early game too. And then all minions just get plus 2 attack and dread. Weak, but it's it's just a general across the board buff. Uh, I'm gonna go with the shoddy armor here, because it will really help us these guys not die when they're leveling up. Do, 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 do. Don't think we're gonna use any consumables. Nice. There's only three guys too. Just start out with a uh, buff here. Give everybody more stress damage. Uh, so let's see. Huh. That is really disgusting looking. So does that guy have nip rings? He does. What attention to detail this game has. Uh, anyways, we got a new guy here, a mummy. He it's a really good stress unit. He has an AoE stress that hits everybody. Uh, this deals stress damage to the enemy and the person behind them. And he can also eat their buffs to heal himself. He removes all debuffs from out- or- oh! It's an upgrade, so at first he just removes debuffs from allies, and he gets health for each of the debuffs he eats. And he can also remove luck from enemies and pull them forward, and that's important because his ultimate here, Amplify Curses, deals extra stress damage for each point of negative luck they have. I think we're just gonna start off... This does move us forward. Forward. So I think we're just going to do Hex Beam then. Uh, the zombie, to start off with, he's not a very good stress unit. Uh, the zombie really comes into... It really turns into a really good unit after it's gotten a couple upgrades. It's really carried me through a couple of really difficult fights because... Which ability is it here? More Powder? One of the upgrades for this ability here makes it so he gains a stack of block and ward every time he uses it. So you can just plop him down in the front and just spam that ability. Uh, and he just basically becomes an unkillable tank. And then when he finally does decide to shoot, he does a ton of damage because each stack of the buff gives him... I think with the one that gives him the block and ward, it's plus 50% damage for his next attack. He also has... I think, where is it? In, in igniting Mixture, one of his upgrade for this ability can turn it into a smoke bomb. And that does AoE stress damage and um, also reduces their accuracy. Uh, so for right now, I think we're just gonna try gonna try to kill these guys. I mean, I said this was a stress damage squad, but I'm doing way more physical damage. zombie friend doesn't actually have anything that moves him forward. So. 
We're gonna just push him forward with our spell here. He oh he also has an upgrade for his cannonball that makes it so instead of dealing physical damage here, uh it also deals stress damage. So he he turns into a stress unit with upgrades basically. Uh, I think just a hundred percent magic damage. Become part of the breathless tide. Yum, pretty gore. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop the bad voice acting. Uh, ch -ch -ch. uh we're just gonna hex beam. Nice. Finished him off. That just leaves this guy. What is his? That's really good. Okay, so he can just really do anything and he deals stress damage. And our zombie ignores armor and resistance, which is magic armor. Each enemy that attacks the mummy loses 10 luck. So it might be better to have him in the front. Could replace... Hmm. No, I think he's fine. Ooh. I love the zombie's flare when it shoots the pistol. And he was stunned, so his turn got skipped. We're just gonna scream at him. Oh, he's just gonna get clawed to death. And these brains here, basically they just allow you to quickly level up your minions. So if I made a new minion, and then I gave it this brain, it would instantly be level 3. And that's really useful for late in the game if you accidentally lose one of your minions. Yeah. Basically saves you from a loss. Also, I forgot to throw my guys in the mortuary. Gonna head out again here. Souls. And that's just the construction resource up here. Um, this looks a little spooky for a level one squad. But I think we'll manage. I carry big boom. Okay. Debuff. The enemy is on the chosen position and the next position in line. Switch to random positions. And shield to Okay, that was intimidating roar. Thought that was battle thumping, and I'm like, that that was not stomping. I feel lied to. Let's go with the buff. Light those guys on fire here, because I don't want this guy to move to the front and start start his explosion. That would be the opposite of a good thing. That actually might be an issue. Uh... She does have a way to move back. Dead. They're everywhere. Uh, 
Well, we can just eat this man, I think. <laughs> That's pretty amusing. Um, just kind of vacuums them in. Let's see, we're gonna push him forward. He has negative 20 accuracy. Well, let's try to shoot him back. Nice. Uh... Your skin shell. Jeez, that's a really long quip. And of course, when this when this guy eats someone, he just gets 17 health regen every turn. Well, that's pretty OP, if you ask me. Uh, how much? This costs 65. Uh, wrath. I wonder if that bosses and inedible enemies are immune. I wonder if that heal stacks. We're about to find out. That really sucks. That guy's gone. Another victory for the Eternal Kingdom. Another sacrifice for my master. Um, these guys are both gonna be dead to stress damage way before we whittle down their HP. There's no escape, sir. Murderer! Okay. Uh. Hmm. Maybe we'll switch out. We'll find someone else for position three here. Come on. Then we can touch him. A thousand blights upon thee. Jeez, maybe we are gonna whittle down. Oh. Spoke too soon. Hey, we got his lore token. And a bunch of minion parts. Oh, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What's up next? Items, or we could go this way. Ooh, minion specific items. I do like me some minion specific items. I think we're gonna head that way. Oh. Ah, okay, so that, that guy in the second slot there, I'm pretty sure that's a rock golem. They're immune to stress damage. And they're also really tanky. Don't remember what their counter is, but I think we should probably take our uh, physical damage squad here. Um, so, does anybody need healing? Um, I think we're good. Watch me now, my love. Okay. Stone Golem. So, it, yeah, he doesn't have the purple bar, so he's immune to sanity damage. And he has a 50% chance to redirect attacks to himself. So he's weak to magic damage. Uh, or even half magic damage, though. Redo. Doomsayer. Uh, I forget how this guy works. I think he like he can curse a position, 
And if your uh, minion stays there, it'll get hit by falling rocks or something. Uh, so we're just going to give her the, this 10 attack and 10 dread buff. I will shoot out their eyes so that only I may look upon you. Giving off some real uh, Yandere vibes. Let's see. Uh, I think I want to. This guy has a stack of block. And I want to get rid of that. So I think I'm just going to do this AoE attack here. Okay. Uh... I'm getting really lucky with those misses. Repent or die. When this character dies, the Doomsayer and all his allies restore 50 vigor and sanity. Uh... I think we just kill him anyways. Maybe we can grab this guy first. Jeez. That did a lot of damage through his physical armor. Beginning of the next turn deals 20 magical damage to all other characters. Well, he's definitely going to get that off. Guess I shouldn't say definitely. Ignores block. So very close. Yet so far away. Or we can shoot him. There we go. Never say never. And we're all back in position. Uh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done. Book of Ancient Wisdom. After winning a battle, Aratus additionally gains plus 100% of the experience from the current level. And I should mention that all of the parts that you use to create your minions have qualities. You know, like your standard RPG qualities, uncommon, rare, epic, and I think legendary. So this green one here is, is uncommon. So you can see it gives two additional stat points uh, for leveling up your minion. And here we got, I think, I'm not sure if that's epic or legendary, but we got a pretty high level dust there. Uh, okay, so next up is gonna be cultists that give me items. So let's see who we want items for here. Uh, let's see. Just take the physical damage squad again. They are our MVPs right now. And then we won't grab another camp here item. Uh, the wedding gift is pretty good, so I think we're just gonna do go with that. Two, two elites here. I'm not sure what that one in the back is. And this one only has three guys. Zoom out a little. We're getting really close to the boss up here. Which, I think that's a new boss. I'm not sure. So if we come up this way... There's a quest this way too with minions. Then of course we have to go through this uh 
this more difficult fight here. I think we're just going to take our other stress damage squad and take the easy route. Come on. There we go. Well, okay, I really need to watch out for the ogre because, I mean, he is weak to stress damage, so that's pretty good here. But he does count as two enemies, so this wasn't three people, it was kind of four. Um, always start off with just our buff. Hmm. I think we should shoot this guy in the back here. The Doomsayer. He has a lot more sanity than he does health. Oh yeah, this guy he can't be moved. Mm. I'm gonna move forward here just because... I think this guy can use his physical attacks from farther back. Okay, what does that buff do? Uh, plus 5 attack, critical damage increased by 50%. So he's going to start hitting a lot harder here. Uh, let's cursing touch. Let's touch this man. And we can just shoot him from back here. Of course, he's just going to keep stacking ward on himself, though. This is luck at... 16. Hmm. Let's just move forward again, because that lets our Abomination use some other attacks. Or not. The enemy AI decided that it didn't want that. That attack actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's keep whittling that guy down. Um... He dies so that you can live. I suppose I can cry. Holy crap. I mean, goodbye abomination. How much? I think that did like over a hundred damage. Or was it 300? Because our guys have like a hundred health. Ah, your frail bodies fail you. Of course, he blocked it and he missed. Ow. Oh, it's my phone going off. Oh, it's low battery. I was going to say, I don't usually get messages, so don't usually have a need to mute it. Ah, that's why it receives 250% more damage from the headsman's attacks. Uh, we have anything that can get us out of here. There we go. More materials. Although this guy is now closer, so that's kind of spooky. Uh, this move is us back. Just shoot him with a cannonball. I don't want him in the first position. 
So I think that's when he can use his spooky attacks. Debuff their attack. So I want I want to make sure this guy is uh a lot less scary than he actually than he is right now. Her back again. Starting an escape. Uh, give him the cheese touch. No more. N no more. Dang. That was pretty crappy. Took heavy damage on our minions and we lost our abomination. And then two of the guys escaped. It did level up though, so I can show. Do, do smoke bomb here. Yeah, 25 stress damage. They lose luck, accuracy, and evasion. It's all around really good. And then down here. Where is it? Trench loading. Plus one block and plus one ward until the end of battle. It was super good. Uh, I think we have enough time for one more battle here. Take out our MVP physical damage squad here. And I think we might just be able to level them up. So I think this is, yeah, EXP for minions. Let's see. I don't know who that elite enemy is. And that spooks me, so I'm just gonna try to go around them here. Mm. All allies gain plus one attack until the battle ends each time she receives damage. And you can't dispel it. Hmm. So we don't want to start off by hitting her. Hmm. She started in the front, so she's probably a frontline unit. So if we use our hook here, which targets a random enemy from the back three slots, and it pulls them forward three. So that'll pull, put her out of the first position by putting someone else there, and then hopefully she won't be able to use some of her more scary abilities. Now of course it misses. Uh, we're gonna start off with the buff. Like always. Hmm. Think. I'm gonna put a trap down here. Ouch. Mortal flailing. Okay, we're gonna try to grab someone again. There we go. And then every time somebody moves into that trap, they're gonna take damage. Of course, this guy has a bunch of block. Makes it really hard to just finish him off. And he threw down his own trap. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have her buff until she can use her alt here, which is a guaranteed crit on all enemies. This 
skips their turn until they are attacked or take damage. Well, that sucks. Uh, slash him. Every hit against the target is a critical hit. Did I read? Oh, that, that is spooky. Uh, she's asleep, so she's not going to be able to use her ult. I think we just use bounty here to finish off the profit. Or, ooh, no, we can just use it on her because then that'll pretty much finish her off so enemies won't get a bunch of buffs. Because again, every time she takes damage, all her allies get plus one attack. So if we just kill her in as few hits as possible. You really got some value off of that bear trap. Come here. I'm not having you do your AoE attack. Uh, neither of them are really low enough for Scythe of Death to do anything, so I think we're just gonna just hit him with the regular old Scythe Smash. See, but now that we've killed two of them since she was asleep, so now there's not really a point in doing this. Wheeze. Uh, she's not really taking damage. We'll move her forward. Oh, do a bounty again. And that'll probably finish him off. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. There we go. Got a, a lot of minion level ups, a lot of parts. I'll probably make a another physical damage squad here and level up some of the buildings out here. They they just give you passive benefits in between uh battles. 45% chance for each minion working here. So there's two guys right now uh to find a random part. And this one 10% chance to find a random artifact. Of course, this one heals. Up here, there's an arena, and that will level up minions outside of battle. And that's that's really useful later on when your level 1 guys can't really go out without dying. This gives you more mana after each victory. This lets you go into battle with more uh, wrath so that you can use your ultimate, your minions' ultimates sooner. And then the library just gives uh, you more XP. But with that, I'm going to end it here and probably just keep going. I've just been recording a bunch of episodes in a row here. Well, anyways, we'll see you then.